Hello everyone, Pop Tart here. Welcome back to the Euroteam channel. Today I am joined by Mind. Hello. Hello. And I'm going to be showing you how to build our Apollo Saturn V rocket. The Saturn V served mainly as the launch vehicle for the Apollo space program, which sent NASA astronauts to the moon in the late 60s and early 70s. The modified version of the Saturn V was later used as the launch vehicle for the uh, Skylab space station in 1973, I believe. Oh, so we're doing a documentary now. Now shut up, mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. So yeah, obviously this is the Apollo version, not the uh, Skylab uh, rocket. Uh, now before we begin, let's have a quick look around the build. This is of course the fully assembled rocket in front of me here. Uh, behind me I actually have the uh, blown-up model with each component separated. Uh, first off, yeah, because here, you're try-hard. Uh huh. You know it. First off here, we have the S-1C, which was Saturn V's first stage that would propel the rocket into initial orbit. Down at the bottom we have the five incredibly powerful Rocketdyne F-1 engines. The center engine would be fixed, while the four uh, outer engines could be manipulated hydraulically for thrust vectoring. Has Wikipedia page in front of him to sound <laughs> smart. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's kind of true, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the uh, F1 engines can be thrust vectored, and that's kind of cool. So now the uh, stabilizer fins at the side, USA lettering right here, and an American flag, because America. At the top, we have the uh, LOX, or liquid oxygen tank, uh, visible as well. This is the ring that would connect the first stage to the second stage, and this is the S2, Saturn V's second stage. The five uh, Rocketdyne J2 engines visible underneath here. Uh, Long pause. Awkward silence as I scroll through. <laughs> <laughs> scroll through the page. <laughs> so yeah, those are the J2 engines. Uh, USA lettering at the side. Um, or United States, actually, it would say on the second stage. USA. <laughs> the... Uh, fuel tank again visible at the top. This is the canicular ring that would connect the second stage to the smaller third stage. And the third stage here is the S4B with the one J2 engine uh, down below here. Again, it's the same engine that was used at the bottom of the second stage. I accidentally uh, placed water in this way too many times. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty I sure know. I waterlogged the entire thing. It used to be like completely filled up at one point as well. Yeah. That was great. What did you break? Uh... I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> trust me. I, I'm not sure if I should trust you. Um, this is probably a mistake trusting you. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I feel well appreciated now. <laughs> So yeah, USA lettering up the side here because NASA pride. The top of the liquid hydrogen tank is visible as well up here. And here we have the four quarters of the fairing that surround the lander. These form a cone to connect to the CSM as well, which you can see on the assembled rocket. You thought there was some dumb special name for these, and you thought they weren't called yeah, I fairings. I spent like 40 minutes last week googling this, trying to figure out what special name they had, and it's literally just like a fairing or whatever. I mean... <laughs> What does Aryan Space, ULA, SpaceX, they all call them fairings. <laughs> so yeah, these would, um, these would form a cone that would connect, uh, <laughs> oh my god. These would form a cone that would connect to the CSM on the assembled rocket. During stage separation, the fairing peels away in quarters to expose the lander. Obviously, we can't really represent the angle in Minecraft too well, but we do have the four sections separated. Inside here is the LM, the lunar module, which would transport the crew to the surface of the moon. Of course, inside the rocket itself, the legs would be retracted, like so. Uh, back here we have the version with the legs extended for landing, uh, with all the support structure and fancy detail here. Uh, back here, just for fun as well, we have the ascent stage and descent stage separated. 
And of course, the lander isn't just one big thing that goes up and or that goes down and back up again. The whole LM would land on the surface of the moon, and then the ascent stage up here would propel away back into lunar orbit, leaving the descent stage behind. Uh, the descent stages from all of the Apollo missions are still on the surface of the moon today. Also, you can see the fancy uh, uh, ascent engine and descent engine here. What are you doing, mind? Is that something from the the descent stage? Am I an idiot? I'm pretty sure I didn't even add that in the original one. Wait, yeah, I did. It, oh, it's a set of stairs. Yeah, Isn't that's that what ladder? it was. Or part of the ladder. Yeah, that's a ladder. It's not even supposed yeah, to be that be on the, uh, LM, shouldn't it? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Around the descent stage. No, it's on the ascent stage, I thought. Is it? <coughs> Alright. Should be. <laughs> Technical difficulties, please stand by. Oh, we built an, we built a rocket, yet we don't even know how it was made. <laughs> we're we are very professional here at the Aero team. Yeah, we're good at building. You know, we're gonna start having train tutorials soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't condone tutorials, but you know what? YouTube will like this. <laughs> True story. So yeah, that's about it for the LM. Now up here we have the CSM, which is the, the command service module, which would contain a manned crew in lunar orbit. Just for fun as well, back here we have the uh, uh, service module and the command module separated. The command module capsule would separate off from the nearest, uh, from the service module to return to Earth as a heat shield on the underside for re-entry. And lastly here we have the LES, which is the launch escape system, which covers the command module capsule. In the event of an abort during launch or an abort on the launch pad, engines contained in the LES right around here would propel the capsule away to safety. Anyways, that's about it. Before I begin the tutorial, I want to quickly mention that I won't be building the whole thing in one go. I will be building each component or stage separately, but I'll show you where to start building them if you want to have the whole rocket fully assembled. So without the, ugh, so with that out of the way, and without further ado, let's jump straight World into the tutorial. And... <laughs> what? Let it and our resource pack. Oh yes, as well. Uh, thank you. So this build uh, is designed using the Aero Team resource pack, which uh, at the time of recording isn't publicly available, I believe, or did yeah, it's public. Already, it's on the Discord. Okay, so yeah, the it's the Aero Team pack is publicly available now. Um, if you're building this in vanilla or without world edit, you're probably going to have a very tough time building this. I will go over some uh, tweaks you can do to make this look good in vanilla or without world edit, like these fancy half slabs we have here, or vertical half slabs. Uh, it's going to look a lot better if you have the Aero Team pack and world edit, but uh, it will be somewhat possible to build it without them. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's jump straight into Wild. the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to be starting out here with the uh, Rocketdyne F1 engines for the first stage. I have the center block marked out here just because I'm cheating, but oh well. So what you're going to do first is, I'm starting with the center engine by the way, then I'll show you how to rotate it around for the four outer engines. So first off, you're going to make a, actually I'll put this one block higher in the air, just for consistency. You're going to make a ring of uh, uh, cobblestone upside down stairs like so. Should look just like this. Uh, this will be the very bottom of the um, Saturn V, by the way. It won't continue any farther down than this, so just keep that in mind when uh, building this. By the way, I completely forgot to mention this, I just realized. Uh, as for dimensions, uh, all told, this, the Saturn V is 111 blocks tall, top to bottom, this is in perfect one-to-one -one scale as well, and 15 blocks in diameter all the way across at its widest. So just keep that in mind as well when building this. Anyways, continuing along here. Uh, so we have this ring of uh, cobblestone upside down stairs. On top of this, uh, what we're going to do here is place a stone brick stair here, 
and then curve that around like this. And then just bring the cobblestone stairs all the way across like so. So you should have basically the same thing we did under there, but just inverted that ring coming towards the interior, right side up, and then half uh, stone bird stairs and half cobblestone like so. Now bringing this up, we'll place a polished granite uh, up and above right here. So you should get this kind of uh, uh, metallic texture visible from the underside. Uh, if you're not using the Aerotine pack, uh, it should look fine in default for that. It just adds detail for with this uh, um, uh, serrated metal texture, or corrugated metal, I mean. All right, now to continue on, place four iron trapdoors in the corners here. A stovert stair on the left side here. And then uh, finish that off with three uh, uh, cobblestone stairs around the edges. Then take, oh, I forgot already, that's nice. Just slabs around and then stone brick there, all right. Okay, so on top of these uh, stairs here, place, or the three cobblestone stairs that is, place three uh, cobblestone slabs like so, then a full block of cobblestone in the middle, full block of stone bricks right there, and then two cobblestone walls on either side of the stone bricks like so. This will be the start of the um, piston up the side, by the way. Uh, all right, then nothing into the corners. Good, I didn't forget. Okay, so now for the uh, next layer up, take an anvil, I believe. Actually, you know what? Let me just double check for a moment, just so I don't have to keep uh, double checking back. All right, sorry about that. I was correct. So place an anvil right here, facing sideways on top of this uh, stone roots here. Uh, cobblestone uh, full block in the middle, like so. Then wrap cobblestone walls all the way, all the all the way, excuse me, around like so. And of course Minecraft wants to be done. There we go. So that should be the start of your F1 engine. Now, uh, for the next engine, place, uh, basically rebuild it right here at an angle. So it should be touching diagonally right here. You won't place any rotation on this one. Uh, it'll just be mirror, uh, not a mirror, an uh, exact copy. So you should have both pistons on the left side there. Now if you're, for your next one, you're going to rotate this one counterclockwise, not counterclockwise, clockwise, excuse me, around the main engine. So you should have it right here with the piston facing uh, forwards this way. Then again, 90 degrees, and again, 90 degrees, like so. And once you've fi finished rebuilding those, uh, that should be it. I'm going to cut and actually inf fix these cobblestone walls because this is bothering me. There we go. Don't you love Minecraft glitches? Anyways, once you've finished rebuilding those, that should just about do it for your Rocketdyne F1 engines as the base of your first stage. Now let's continue on. All right. Now to finish off the base and get the fuselage set up for the first stage, place a cobblestone half slab on all of these full blocks in the middle of each engine. And then for each engine, take a stone brick uh, slab, uh, top slab, excuse me, all around these edges like so. And then finish off the corners here with jungle trapdoors. Now in this resource pack that I'm using, uh, jungle trapdoors are more of a metallic iron trapdoor texture. If you're familiar with the final versions of JCTV, iron trapdoors are uh, a solid uh, stone slab texture. If you're using older versions of JCTV where iron trapdoors are this more of a metallic detail-y thing and not stone, you can use that as well. Uh, if you're in vanilla, iron trapdoors should work fine. Anyways, in this pack there, uh, jungle trapdoors, so I just wanted to make a note of that. Then, uh, yeah, basically repeat that all the way around here. I'll do this on camera. So you've got your stone uh, top slabs in the cardinal directions, jungle trapdoors all around the corners. 
And again, stone on the cardinal, jungle trapdoors, or whatever trapdoor you're using. Stone on the cardinal. Oh, there we go. And then jungle trapdoors. Uh, oh, one more. All right. So this should just about do it. There we go. Now to get started on the fuselage, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just building the uh, um, cylinder up around of the fuselage without any painting details or anything, and I'll show you how to add on all of the details after that's done, including the uh, stabilizer fins and everything. All right, so I have to <laughs> double check my measurement for this again. Just three out. Okay, cool. So what you want to do now is take your cobblestone top slabs, or half slabs in this case actually, three out like so, and then take a purple slab down. Again, another texture pack note. In the Aero Team pack, um, uh, we use wool with then purple stairs and slabs which have a wool texture. Uh, if you're using default, you won't have any wool colored uh, uh, stairs or slabs, so I recommend using cords for that. But in Aero Team, it's purple for the slabs. So, anyways, so then let's bring this ring around. So we'll have three uh, top slabs, like so. And then uh, this kind of uh, impedes into this base that we have set up, but. Um, should make too much of a difference. We're going to leave these top slabs as well here, but we're going to break uh, that trapdoor and then a slab right there. Three top slabs across, slab here, break that one, slab here. Three top slabs across, slab, break that one, slab. Three across here, slab, break that, and slab. That should start out your uh, initial ring here. These stone trap doors will get covered up when we add on the uh, uh, stabilizer pod things. I think there's a word for them that I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Sorry about that. But now to finish off the base, just cover everything visible with cobblestone uh, half slabs. And that will finish off the bottom of this. Unlike the uh, second stage as well, where you've got all sorts of crazy details going all over the place, the first stage is just pretty flat. There's not really much going on there. So, uh, yeah, it's just, just cobblestone here. And then, uh, well, there are some pipes and stuff that connect with the engines and all that, but there's not a lot of room to, to uh, build that. So this does just fine here. All right. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to place down wool, like so, where you've got this pattern of uh, yes, I'm not an idiot. Okay, so it's three, two here, two, three, two, two, three, two, and two. And what you're going to do is you're going to stack this up so it's 32, 32, right? Uh, 36, actually. 36 blocks of wool. So you've got one here, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth until you hit 36. And that will bring you right up to the top there of your first stage. I'll, give, I'll get back to you once I've done that, and then we'll finish off the details for the first stage. All right, now I did actually do a bit of a goof. We weren't supposed to remove those trapdoors on the corner, so just place those back now. Uh, again, they're uh, right here. So now, uh, is also I've just finished uh, stacking this up, by the way, um, in case you were wondering why that magically appeared, even though I just said that I was doing that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, place those jungle trapdoors back in the corners. Now what we're going to do is uh, build a uh, stabilizer. So to build a stabilizer, two slabs and two slabs surrounding that like so. Bring a bring blocks around like this. Two, one, and then two right there. Now you'll need smooth stone for this if you have world edit. Uh, to get this, just 
literally do slash slash, slash set smooth underscore stone. And then you can use the uh, pick block tool to get that. I don't think there's a slash give command for it. I could be wrong. But uh, if you don't have world edit, uh, normal stone should work fine. Anyways, though, we're going to be using smooth stone to give it a bit more of a shiny edge, which is nice. So then just place uh, those underneath those wool blocks like so, so you should have this. Now to shape this off here, place a wool block right there and right there. Now three up right here. I believe that's three. That should be three. No, two and a half. I'm an idiot. Sorry. So uh, you have two blocks up and then a half slab there. And then a block in the middle and a half slab right there. Now for... Uh, no. That's over here. Here, let's make this easier on ourselves, actually. Place three blocks right here behind these slabs. Place a half slab right there on top of those. Fill in these two blocks on the side there, so you should have this nice uh, uh, nacelle pod. Again, I can't remember the word for this, sorry about that, but uh, the stabilizer pod, basically. Then for the... Uh, yes, okay, cool. Just two blocks up. I can't even remember my own rocket. Okay. So, two blocks on top, just like so. That should finish off this pod. Don't worry about this looking ugly right here. We're going to fix that now. We're going to get rid of the smooth stone. Grab your normal stone, place three blocks up on top of that. Actually, two. No. Replace, yeah, two, and then replace that wool there. That was an incredibly awkward silence. I apologize for that. But yeah, so three uh, normal stone blocks replacing that uh, wool block there. And then add a diagonal two here, and then one. Now to finish this off, uh, this is going to need a bit of a world edit trickery here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with, with world edit and then without world edit here. Uh, in the arrow team pack, if I can find it here, do, 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 bubble coral fan. So if you're in 1.13 and have the arrow team pack and world edit, grab your bubble coral fan here. Now we're going to need a bit of water logging magic to get this to work. So let's grab a water bucket and a uh, stair here. Actually, we don't even need a stair. Just place water here, bubble coral fan on the side, grab your slash repl tool here, bind that to the stick. Uh, quickly replace that actually. So you should have that half slab uh, bound to the replace tool here. Then place three placeholder blocks on top and then just uh, use the replace tool on those lights. So and that should give you this nice uh, smooth stone fin. Uh, if you don't have world edit though, you can simply use stone, uh, stone, excuse me, stone uh, half slabs on top like this. But it is obviously a lot nicer if you have it like that. It's nice. So that should just about do it for the stabilizer fins. Let me get rid of these now. So what you want to do is just build this around on all four uh, corners. So I'll get back to you once I've done that. All right, now that we have those pasted all the way around, uh, you can see that the first stage is really starting to take shape here. So uh, what we're going to do next is start work on painting it with all of the fancy details. So to get started on that, uh, let me grab, uh, throw this away for now. Let me grab my black wool here. Black wool, another brick slab. Uh, nether brick slabs again, another texture pack note. In this pack, nether, bl nether brick slabs are a black color like this. Uh, it should work fine if you've got the normal dark reddish of vanilla. Anyways, so you've got your whites, your blacks, and then quartz pillar and quartz slabs. Alright, so now to begin uh, painting here, we're going to do these first uh, bottom stripes 
on the on, well on the bottom here, and then the ventilation. I, I believe these are at least the ventilation um, uh, details up here. Quality jump cut because I completely screwed up on the last take. So let's give this a take two, shall we? All right. So now that you have your white uh, your white uh, palette basically your black palette and your uh, quartz palette. What you're going to do here is place a, a replace this here with quartz. These two bottom um, uh, bottom half slabs here, basically, replace those with quartz. Then one, two, and three across here with your uh, nether brick slabs, and there as well. Now what we're going to do is place four pillar quartz coming up from those top slabs and then four black wool as well coming up from each of the uh, nether brick half slabs there. Then bring this across to here. Uh, replace this, or basically just replace all of the material on the left hand side of the uh, uh, stabilizer fin here with black as well. That's going to give this coral block update. Just keep your replace tool out and replace that if you are uh, using the coral version. Now, uh, also make sure that's black wool as well. Uh, as well, these black stripes do go up quite a ways, but I'm going around this base layer first. I want to get that done and out of the way first. Uh, also, before I forget here, Five blocks, excuse me. So take these up another uh, another block, just like that. And again, we're going to be bringing the uh, black wool stripes farther up uh, later. I'm just getting this base layer down first. And then these two wool blocks to the left of the pillar quartz here, excuse me, replace those with pillar quartz, like so. Now keep going around in this fashion. I'll I'll uh, do this all on camera, I might as well. Pillar quartz here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Quartz. Quartz. I don't even need the uh, purple and uh, uh, wool anymore, do I? So I can throw that away. Nether brick across. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, two three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then all the material up to here gets replaced with black. Like so. And again, replace tool on that um, uh, coral block there. And keep going around. Two quartz pillar. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. There we go. Two, three, four, five. Quartz slab, quartz slab. I don't do that over there. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure that I didn't have a quartz slab there as well. Then uh, your nether brick slabs all the way across. One, two, three, four, five. If I could stay in flight for ten seconds. Five black wool. Five black wool. All the material up to here. Place two on the coral, black there, and quartz pillars all the way across. I believe this is the last section. Uh, quartz slab there. Then your nether brick slabs all the way across. Five black wool. Five black wool. I keep dropping out of flight. Ooh, there we go. Stabilizer is black, just like this, and replace tool on the coral. There you go, that should do it for putting this all the way around, basically. And I forgot to place these. I, I covered this in the tutorial as well, I just missed copying this around. This is why I failed on the first attempt as well, because I, uh, uh, Basically what happened on the first cut of this, I 
didn't paste uh, this row of blocks in when I was copying and pasting that corner of the stabilizers all around. So I was starting a block too far to the left, and that I threw myself all off, basically. And that's why I had to jump cut to retake. Anyways, now that you have that painted all the way around, let's start on the uh, let's start bringing the the black stripes up. So these will be four blocks. We won't, of course, be counting this here. Let's bring this one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is six. Good. Keep bringing these black stripes six blocks up. You know what, I'm going to use my replace tool now that I don't need uh, that for the stabilizer fins anymore. Three, four, five, six. And keep bringing that all the way around. Once you have those uh, uh, black stripes extended all the way up, we'll get the um, uh, USA lettering put in. So let's grab our red wool for that, if I could find it. Here we are. So, uh, see where we have these kind of three blocks uh, width of space to work with here. Leave, uh, with the wool block that is, the white wool. Leave one block from the bottom, two red wool going up, gap of space, and one red wool there. And that's basically the USA. And, uh, yeah, so continue doing that all the way around on the four corners, basically. Uh, oops. And that will do it for that. Now, we'll... I meant to write this down earlier, I forgot to. I might as well just double check now. Three, four, five, six. Indeed it is six. Alright, so now, uh, see where we have this gap where the black wool just leaves off. Place six uh, pillar quartz going up on top anywhere. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have that. I might as well do this on camera as well. I'm going to use my replace tool. So we'll bring this pillar quartz all the way around. Now this replace tool is again a feature of world edit, so if you don't have world edit you'll be stuck manually replacing, but that shouldn't take too much longer. So now, once we have the uh, pillar quartz going all the way around, again, I believe this is ventilation. Uh, I could be wrong, though. I'll probably have a pop-up on screen somewhere around now uh, yelling at myself if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I should just about do it for this. Once this is brought all the way around here, we can work on uh, the stripes at the top of the fuselage. Okay, so that's it for that. Now, basically, you've just completed the bottom section of the S1C stage. Uh, apart from detailing of the raceways and all that, of course. But, uh, anyways, now for the uh, top stripes, I'll, what I'll do here is I'll finish these top stripes I'll get the uh, top of the uh, oxygen fuel tank in, and then I'll get the final details like the uh, American flags and the raceways. So, see where you have where you have these pre-existing stripes here. Drop uh, basically four black wool down here to match up with that stripe. So you've got black wool there, and that's where you start basically. So then you've got the way this pattern works is you've got a two and two of four black wool in total, then a two and a one of quartz, pillar quartz that is, like this. Then your black stripe goes around, two and two, like this. Then you've got your uh, white stripe, so two and one, two and two here, two and one, two and two and two here, and then lastly two and one 
of your uh, quartz filler. This stripe will hook into the stripe in the uh, second stage ring here and the bottom of the second stage itself. Uh, it's the stripe system kind of midway up the fuselage of the entire rocket, which you can kind of see there. Anyways, uh, let me get rid of the red wool since we don't really need it until we get to the flags. So that should do it for your stripes at the top of the S1C stage. Now let me grab yellow terracotta here and a stone slab and double check how far down I start again. Two blocks. Cool. So, what we're going to be doing with this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, what we're going to be doing with this uh, yellow terracotta, leave two blocks space here, and then uh, what we'll do for now is just drop a ring of yellow terracotta all the way around like this. This is again the top of the uh, liquid oxygen fuel tank. Then basically beef it up one more layer like this. And if, you, if you're confused by what that means, you can have a look here when I finish at the pattern that just made like this. So you should have a five diameter uh, circle visible in the center here. Now, uh, basically what you're just going to do is uh, essentially fill up that uh, circle like so, and then just drop a stone slab right on top to cap off the fuel tank. Uh, get rid of the yellow terracotta. There we go. So that will do it for the top of the fuel tank. Next, uh, let's do raceways next, actually. Yeah. Alright, kind of hard to see where it starts. Just one block of gap. Cool. So for the raceways, grab nether brick fence and jungle fence. Again, another tester pack note, if you're using default and not the aero team pack, you should use more of a wider, <laughs> a wider um, fence texture like birch or something that isn't, it won't be quite white and it won't quite match up, but it'll be better than, uh, <laughs> better than jungle, that's for sure. But if you're using the aero team pack, use jungle because it's, it's wool and it's, it's nice as you can see here. This, which is, which is actually perfect for detailing on the sides of builds such as this one. So for your raceway detailing here, uh, we're going to be doing uh, raceways for the S1C stage on the right side and the left side. I'll start with the right side here. So where you've got these three blocks across here, leave a gap from the bottom. Here I'll use a pillar quartz maybe since it stands out a bit more. Then take your nether, nether brick fence right there. I'll get rid of that placeholder block. Bring those all the way up until we reach the end of the uh, black stripes. Take your jungle fence, or whatever white fence you're using, all the way up until you reach the uh, black stripe here. Then bring your nether brick fence flip th three blocks up, so you should have a one block gap at the top here. That'll do it for the raceway on the right side. Now uh, we'll do the same on the left. Again, this will start on the right side here. So you'll have kind of a bit of a staggered offset with it being over there and then over here, and it's cool. So again, placeholder, placeholder block there, just so you can see. Uh, bring your nether brick fences all the way up until you hit the top of the stripe. Jungle fences all the way up. Uh, oops, there we go. And then three nether brick fences. And that should just about do it for your raceways. Now I'll get rid of those and uh, get out stuff we need for the American flag. USA, yay. <laughs> so for the, for the flag, you will need red. I already got red wool. Uh, not blue concrete, blue wool. Here we are. So you'll need quartz pillar, stone buttons, red wool, and blue wool. Now, what we'll do here is, I believe we start seven blocks down. Let me just double check that quickly. Good thing I double checked, it's actually six blocks. I'm <laughs> completely off of it today, aren't I? Anyways, I'll just use black wool for placeholder this time since it stands out against the white. So on the corner here where you have the 
2 and then the 2 on the left side of the right side of 2, basically. Drop. Apologies for the second awkward jump cut. Anyways, uh, left side of this right side of 2 here drops 6 blocks down here. That was 6, right? Uh, 6. There we go. So 6 blocks down, then place a blue wool right there. Button on it like so. That'll kind of represent the stars. Then two pillar quartz going to the right of that. And then just three red wool underneath, like so. And get rid of the placeholder blocks. And repeat that all the way around. So again, six blocks down here. I uh, forgot to count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blue wool, button on its face. Quartz pillar, quartz pillar. And three red wool blocks underneath. Get rid of the placeholder blocks. Again, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blue wool, button on its face. Pillar, pillar, three red wool. Out with the placeholder blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blue wool, button, two quartz pillars, and then three red wool, like so. And then, nope. And then get rid of the, uh, clear up my inventory. And then get rid of the placeholder blocks. And that should just about do it for the uh, American flags, and that will complete your S1C first stage. So, without uh, further ado, let's move on to the uh, first stage ring here. Also, congratulations, this was probably the longest part of the tutorial. Uh, the first stage is <laughs> quite obviously the largest uh, uh, part of the rocket. Anyways, continuing on to the uh, first stage connector ring. Alright, now that you've just finished the probably the hardest part of the tutorial, likewise, now it's time to move on to the easiest part of the tutorial. I have here the uh, three blocks of the uh, first stage here, just as kind of a reference point. Uh, so for this uh, second stage connector, again, this, is, this would uh, sit between the first stage and the second stage uh, to well, connect them, basically. So we have these um, three blocks here. This would be these outer three right across here, which that one should be a black hole because I'm very smart. Anyways, so now to begin this uh, second stage connector ring, place uh, four pillar quartz on top of that pillar quartz. I'm just going to get rid of this now here. Uh, Again, I'm going to be building everything kind of in midair. I'll show you where to um, place them on the actual previous part or whatever, just when in case you're building the fully assembled version. But again, you can build everything separate because that's cool. So now that we have those four pillar quartz there on top of the those four. What we're going to do is so hard and so difficult. We're just going to continue that stripe pattern four blocks up. So we've got <laughs> we've got your uh, two black wool here, two black wool. Uh, get a placeholder block for the pillar quartz. Four pillar quartz. Uh, another placeholder block. Ugh. Four pillar quartz. And then four there. So again, this is following that same pattern. You've got your two and two of black wool, then your two and one of pillar quartz. Two and two of black wool. Then your uh, two and one of pillar quartz. And get rid of those placeholder blocks. Like, placing pillar quartz is always a pain in the backside, but oh well. All right, two and two of your black wool. Two and one of your pillar quartz. Out with the placeholder blocks. Two and two of your black wool. And then your two rows of pillow quartz there, and we already completed that first one. So it should look something just like this. Again, that would be sitting directly on top of the first stage if you're building this whole rocket assembled. 
But this is what it looks like on its own. I know, difficult, right? So that does it for that uh, second stage connector. Now let's move on to the uh, S2 stage, which is, again, the second stage. All right, so to begin on the second stage, first we're going to do the J2 engines. Now the first thing you should note is that this here, I also left behind the, a bit of the top layer of that second stage connector ring, just for fun, so we know what we're doing here. Now please be aware of the fact that this here is, if you're building the assembled rocket, this here is the top of the fuel tank right here. And you're actually going to have to get rid of that if you want to have the engines on the interior. So that's that uh, top slab there. Now to make the uh, J2 engine, uh, for pos positioning this stage properly in inside the rocket, uh, you'll be starting from this point. Obviously, if you're building this just in the middle of the air, don't, you don't have to worry about that. But so again, starting from this uh, uh, fuel tank cap here, you'll have to get rid of that and replace it with a top slab or with a top half uh, cobblestone slab. Now, unfortunately, we've got even more uh, world edit trickery here to make the J2 engines look good using the uh, uh, coral fans again. So for our uh, vertical half slabs here, uh, luckily this time we won't be using uh, uh, any waterlogged tricks. The uh, vertical stone half slab is actually the dead tube coral fan, which means that we don't need to waterlog it. Yay! So simply for this, what we're going to do is surround this with our placeholder blocks here. And then basically we're going to trick these worth world edit into being on a non-full block, basically, just like this. And of course that messed it up. Uh, so if you did it right and did it, didn't mess up like me, you should have something just like this. Uh, if you're using, uh, if you're, if you're using this packing, you don't have rolled it, you can use something like, uh, iron trapdoors like this, which is actually what we're going to be using uh, for the top part, but uh, here, let me show you. So this design will not look as good, uh, but that's kind of the price you have to pay when you don't have world edit for fancy tricks. So you're going to have four iron trapdoors all around like so, then a hopper there, and an anvil on top. And that will be your non-world edit J2 engine, basically. Really skinny and really wimpy, basically. Um, so use that design instead if you don't have world edit. But if you do have world edit and you can trick these coral fans, then uh, that's great. So let's continue on with this design. And for this, now we'll place these iron trap doors around and open them up around like so, and then basically do what we did there just without the uh, stuff on the outside hopper there and then an anvil on top like so and that will give you your beefier and a lot better looking j2 engine so now for pasting this around uh, what you're going to want to do is I'm going to build this off camera just because I don't want to play with world edit again but um, you want to have each engine situated at a diagonal so you'll have the the center of your middle engine there with that cobblestone slab, then a block gap here, and then that's where you'll start the next engine there with that cobblestone top slab. Again, block diagonal, block diagonal with a space, block diagonal with a space, and then just paste that design onto all of those or rebuild them onto all of those, whatever you're doing. And I'll get back to you once I've done that. All right, once you have your five J2 engines situated like so, let's continue on and build up the, uh, uh, basically the start of your second engine. So place a cobblestone wall on top of all of these uh, anvils here. Then what you're going to do is uh, let's see, how should I go about doing this? I think what I'll do first is have, um, 
the uh, I'll I'll build out the um, the base of kind of the ring around here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to build out this base first, and then I'll fill in all of these crazy wiring details on the inside. That'll make life a lot easier for us. So, to do this, let me get rid of this uh, horn coral fan. Let me get out what we'll need. Uh, cobblestone. Well, basically, your cobblestone. So, uh, reorganize my inventory a bit. I don't need all of these. Doo -doo. There we go. That should do it for now. All right. Once you have your uh, cobblestone wall set up like so, place a full block kind of nets to these like this. It looks like we're going to have to fix the cobblestone walls later because Minecraft is being dumb. You shouldn't have to do that. It's just the spigot server we have being really angry. There we go. So you have your uh, cobblestone full blocks nets to them like that. Then bring a cobblestone stair out at an angle like this. And there you go. That should finish off that bit. Now for the top layer of this ring, bring out another cobblestone stair. I'm going to get rid of this ring actually around here since we don't need that for reference anymore. Alright, that's done. Again, that ring was just for reference, showing you where you're going to be building this in relation to uh, the assembled rocket. That isn't anything you're supposed to be building for this stage. So, bring out a cobblestone stair out from that previous cobblestone stair, basically. Uh, let's see. Then a cobblestone full block back here. Full block there. Stair out. Full block here. Full block out. Stair. Full block out. Full block out. Stair. Full block out. And a full block out there. Now to connect this all in and make it nice, uh, let's see, you'll want to place a, uh, that's right, we have to replace these uh, cobblestone walls here. There we go, that should do it. So now place a half slab on top of those walls, like so, to finish that off. Then to the left and right of each of these stairs, place a top slab, like so. And now to finish off this midsection here, uh, let's see, place a stair there, and a stair there, and then a cobblestone slab between them, like so, and that'll round that off nicely. Stair, slab, stair, stair, slab, stair, and stair, slab, stair. And that should do it for that. Oh, I missed a slab there. Alright, once you have that, what you're going to want to do is take black wool and just fill in all of this space above, like so. You don't have to fill in anything that's not visible like that. I just did that to show that you can. Um, basically what you want to do is just make it so that you can't see any in from the underside, like this. And there you go. So I'll get rid of that again. Next for the wiring details and all that. Place two end rods, uh, like so, connecting that center cobblestone wall up to there. Again, another texture pack note. Um, end rods are wool texture in the Aero Team pack, but this should not make a difference at all to default users. It's, it's still white, really. It doesn't impact anything functionally. It just makes it look a little bit better. And then place another ender rod going off to the right here. Let me pull up a better image of this. Here we are, all right. That will do it for ender rods. Now let's grab uh, levers, hoppers, anvils, and a jungle trapdoor. Let's get it at it from this angle here. Feed a hopper directly into that uh, ender rod there. Jungle trapdoor in the corner right there. Uh, I'll need an iron bar as well, which will fit right there in front of that jungle trapdoor. Again, the, like I said on the first stage, jungle trapdoor, iron trapdoor, uh, whatever. It depends on, your on the texture pack that you're using. 
uh, in Arrow Team again, Iron Trapdoor is stone slab texture like this, and this looks a lot better for detailing. But if you don't have uh, this is that texture that uh, Iron Trapdoor works fine if you're on the run Arrow Team version or whatever. Just want to make sure that everyone's all caught up. All right, next feed a I place a lever right there that should be basically facing this way. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Then let me see to the left right here. You'll want to place an iron bar that should be at an angle like that. And then, uh, you know what, I'm just going to double check because I got terrible reference images for myself. I'm sorry about that. All right, cool. Now, next, uh, grab either a barrier or a string if you're in survival or without commands or whatever. Uh, any basically non-seeable or mostly seeable block right there to support an anvil that will go right here. And uh, actually, I believe it rotates this way, just for fun. So it should look like that. Now grab an iron bar, place that right here. Then a lever to the left right there, and a hopper facing into that iron bar, like so. And that should just about do it for your detailing on the underside here. And with that, we can move on to the fuselage itself. Again, like the first stage, I'm going to be building this all in white and then showing you how to paint it in. So, you'll do the same pattern as the uh, first stage, basically, width-wise. We've got three there, two, uh, two, three, two, two going the other way, three, two, two, three, two, two, and then finish off the three like so. So once you have that base pattern set up, uh, this time it stacks uh, 18 blocks up in total, counting that, and counting this row. So I'm just going to stack this now, just because I'm lazy. Stack 17 U. Uh, if you don't have rolled edit again, just come back when you've finished building it up. Anyways, so once you have this bit of the uh, fuselage built up now, uh, well, that's basically it for the fuselage apart from painting. I'm, you know what? I'm going to throw things up a bit. I'm going to finish off the fuel tank first before getting into details. So again, let's grab yellow terracotta. Now, uh, on top of this, you'll place a layer of nether brick slabs going around like so. Uh, this is just as a ring, because on the real uh, S2 stage, there is actually a ring of black around the top of that uh, before the uh, fuel tank. So then we'll kind of do what I did uh, for the fuel tank on the uh, first stage again. Brilliant and like so, and then another row in just like this, and that should give you this shape. If, again, if you're confused by what that means, just have a look here and try to copy that shape down. Now, uh, cap that off with yellow terracotta here, except we're going to be doing something a bit different this time around when it comes to finishing off this fuel tank. Let me get rid of that. We're going to grab a block of gold, or any bright yellow block, and place that right in the center there. Now get rid of that. Ring this with nether brick slab, like so. So you've got that kind of thing going on then place uh, from this angle, basically, facing forwards, a nether brick slab there, a nether brick full block, and a never, <laughs> excuse me, nether brick half slab right there on top of that yellow terracotta like so. And that's just basically a, um, a pipeline, I believe, that feeds right up into the top. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to painting. So I'll grab my uh, materials for that. Uh, where's my port slab? There it is. All right, so again, continuing the exact same uh, stripey pattern. If you're building this on the 
uh, finished rocket, you'll be able to literally just copy this straight up because it's right there below you. So you've got, this time it's three, yes, three, three pillar quartz instead of uh, four. So you've, you've got your three pillar quartz here, three black wool, black wool, it's, again, it's the exact same pattern. So you've got your two and your two of black wool, and then your two and your one of quartz, two and your two of black wool, two and one of quartz pillars, two and one, or two and two, excuse me, of black wool, two and one of quartz, black wool, and quartz, and that'll finish off that stripe pattern there. And then just finish a row of uh, black wool all the way across like this. And that will just about do it for the bottom section of painting there. Next, let's see what we should tackle next. I suppose we might as well get that bit at the top here. All right, so for this, uh, this is quite simple. You'll just replace these top three rows of wool with pillar quartz. And bring that all the way around, and because I'm lazy, I'll use my stick replace tool. But, uh, yes, yeah, so just again, replace these top three rows of uh, wool with pillar quartz. And that will just about do it here. Once you're done, I think we'll do the lettering next and then finish off with the raceways up the side. So for your lettering, where does this go? Right there. All right. So where you've got these two and two of uh, um, uh, wool here. Uh, we're on the first stage. We started on the right side of the right one here for the lettering. We'll actually start on the left side of the left set of two for the United States lettering here. And this is simply leaving a gap of one wool, four red wools going up, gap of one, and then another four here. And that simply says United States all the way down there. Now one, two, three, four red, gap, four red. Continuing the pattern along, just like so. And that will do it for your United States lettering. And the last thing you'll need for your uh, uh, third stage here. Blur, another awkward jump cut. I know, I'm sorry. Another awkward jump cut, sorry about that. Anyway, so the last thing that leaves us here is our raceways for the second stage. And I just realized I said third stage when I ended that last cut, sorry about that. Yes, this is the second stage, not the third stage, but yes. So to finish off our second stage, let's continue our raceways here. So for these, sorry, I just jumped straight into that, didn't I? So at the corner here, we've got the two and the two there. Place three white walls coming up in line with the, with the black wool there. Jungle fence on top and bottom, or your white fence or whatever you're using. Then from this bottom one, then two down uh, to the right, like so. Uh, if you're confused by that, just have a look right now. And basically, we'll just continue that on all four corners. Three wool, fence, fence, two there. Three wool, fence on top, bottom, and two there. Three wool, fence on top, bottom, and two there. Now, I need to d double check again for the uh, primary raceways. Actually, I don't, because I have it right here beside me. That's nice. So, uh, grabbing your uh, nether brick fences, these will go on the right and the left sides as well, correct? In, no, only on the right side. So where those uh, secondary raceways went in, in the corners there, this primary, primary raceway will only run up the right side. 
So where we have these four black wool here, place four nether brick fences up the side, and then jungle fences running all the way up here, uh, going one into the uh, pillar quartz region, and then a nether quartz, or nether brick, excuse me, on top in the middle of that, just like that. And that should finish that off, and that is just about it for the S2 stage. So, congratulations, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the uh, third stage connector here. Alright, so moving on to this third stage connector ring here. You can see that I left the uh, uh, line on top of the third stage here, of nether brick. Uh, just because I wanted to let you know that if you are building this, again, in the as fully assembled rocket, uh, you will need to break this and just basically go around and replace it with wool. Um, again, this line was there because there is a uh, visible black outline around the top of the second stage before the um, uh, fuel tank uh, is visible, but obviously if you have a uh, uh, shape fitting on top of that, you can't really have that, so you have to replace it with wool, and that's sad. But uh, yeah, so once you've gone around and replaced the uh, all of that with wool, so that should be basically sitting right across here if you're building this on the uh, on the assembled rocket. If you're building it out and making a blown up version, hey, that's cool, and that's that's awesome. And obviously, you won't have to replace that, but Anyways, so to go around and finish off this cone, this will be uh, seven blocks in height, if I remember correctly. So to finish off the, or not to finish off, but to make the shape for this, now that we've got this bottom layer set up here, on each of these three uh, outer blocks, place down a slab, block, slab, slab on top of the middle block, and place that around like so. And that should do it for that outermost layer. Now is where it gets a little bit tricky. Place a actually, you know what? What make this? What might make this easier for us is if we continue from the bottom. So right here on top of this two here, place uh, two blocks across inwards with a slab on top there, block on a block there, and a well, basically two blocks up. So you should have this 1.5 and 1.5 jump like so, and then one block up like that, and then fill in that gap there. Same thing here, so two there, slab, two up, and that should give you that nice uh, dome shape coming together basically. So I'll continue this all the way around, two in, two in, slab, two up, slab, two up, and three up there. 2 in, 2 in, slab, slab, 2 up, 2 up, and 3 up, 2 in, uh, 2 in, slab, slab, 2 up, 2 up, 3 up, and that should do it for that uh, layer. Now let's finish off this. So place one block in the middle there, and this goes up 2 more. Place a white fence on the face right there, and then a half slab on top. Now block there, and then two up from there. So you have one, two, three there, and then this will be the top layer of the uh, ring, by the way. So this will be five, if I can count properly today. There we go. So five, 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 and then five going around like so. That will be the top layer of the uh, uh, cone. So now continuing on this pattern, one, two, three, jungle fence, slab, two up, two up there. We'll fill in all of this afterwards. One, two, three, uh, slab, fence, two up, two up, and lastly, one, two, three, 
slab fence two up and two up like so now let's just go around fill in all of these little gaps that are sitting out and that should just about do it for this besides painting of course so once we have this all finished off here there we go let me get rid of these fences because I don't really need them anymore we'll need black wool and nether root slabs so now to paint off this cone here, if you have this on top, you'll be facing this from the front here. And so this is the angle we're going to be starting with here from the front. Place a black wool here. Place that with a slab. Basically place a line of black painting all the way up like this. Now let's go around to the back here. Replace this and these two with black, and then this line going down here with black. This is just getting outlines set up to ease us on our journey. And you know what? I'm going to, I think, yeah, I'm going to need more reference images. Give me a second, sorry. This part's been just riddled with jump cuts. I apologize for that. But uh, anyways, continuing on with the lines for the left side here. Again, this being the front. Uh, place two black wools up here, another bit slab there. Two wools up on the right, and then and then three up. Like so, so you should get this squiggly pattern, uh, like this. Then what you actually want to do is, I just realized, take this line all the way across into there. And we're going to be filling in these parts uh, afterwards here. Now for the other side, uh, what you want to do is, uh, on the right side now, place two black wools there, uh, another brick slab on top, then two wool up there, so it should end right underneath, uh, excuse me, un right underneath this center block right there, and then continue this line all the way into there. And now we have those outlines set up for us. What we're going to do is uh, fill in sections with black here. So this again being the front, all of this in between these two lines, all of this white gets filled in with black wool. So should look like this. Oh, but, 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 but. Excuse me. Uh, by the way, as well, uh, we're not replacing the uh, fences. The fences will stay white. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I just like completely lost my ability to speak. <laughs> Anyways, so now that you have that section filled in with black, now we're going to be filling in this smaller section here with black as well. So it should look like this. And now right here, I uh, need to replace that fence as well because this version of Spigot really hates fences. Anyways, uh, then I believe, uh, yes indeed. So now this section down here gets filled in with black as well. And when you are done, it should look like this. And now that all of the uh, uh, third stage connector ring here is all filled in nicely, we can begin on the third stage itself. So let's jump straight into that. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we can begin work on the third stage. Again, I've left over this uh, ring from the top of that connector uh, there, just to show that that's where the fuselage will be ending up. And again, just like the second stage, this is the bottom of the, the top, excuse me, of the second stage's fuel tank. Just like the uh, second stage, we'll have to be getting rid of these top slabs around like so. Um, now to continue with the J2 engine, uh, it's, it's the same exact engine as the uh, second stage. So let me grab my dead tube coral fan and my handy replace tool. 
I'm going to be going through this one a lot quicker, uh, just since we've already done it before. So again, your cobblestone slab in the center here, and then coral fans out like so. Place this, and again, you would you'd be using iron trapdoors or something if you're not if you don't have access to world edit. Um, but I explained that all before, so I'm going to be going over this one a bit quicker. So now to finish this off, copper anvil, then your iron trapdoor up like this. Again, if you don't have world edit, uh, you can use the design that I explained in the second stage uh, instead of this one. Uh, let me get rid of this now. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, so for the uh, bottom of this second stage, basically, or this is the third stage now, isn't it? Oh, I'm really tired. I say as I completely forget to explain what I'm doing. Okay, so we have this anvil here. Now place a birch stair coming out of it right here. I really am tired today. Wow. Okay, so instead of placing a birch stair in front of that anvil like I did, like an idiot, place a cobblestone full block or half slab on top of that anvil. Surround it with birch uh, stairs, like so. Then surround those corners with birch uh, half slabs. Then, on each of these half slabs, place a cobblestone full block. Then a cobblestone uh, stair facing that way, facing outwards, and then corner it off. Corner, outwards, corner, corner, outwards, corner, and corner, outwards, corner. Like so. And then in each of these corners, yes, yeah, so that'll just about do it actually. So, this tutorial wouldn't be complete with at least a dozen Pop Tart t fails constantly, would it? Ugh. Luckily, this one didn't really affect the tutorial, it just messed me up a little bit. Uh, so, this is actually where your. Um, the top of the uh, connector ring should line up. So if it's lining up like that, and you saw before that it was a block higher than what it is now, and you were freaking out because it was wrong, it, well, it wasn't wrong, it's just that I did a dumb again. But anyway, so yes, this cobblestone layer should be lining up with the top of that uh, connector ring like this. Let me get rid of this now, since it was just for reference. So, continuing on with the third stage like this, uh, let's grab quartz pillars out at an angle. Yes, 313. Okay, so, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw away this birch, and I'm going to grab myself a placeholder block. Uh, stone birch should do. So I'm going to line this cobblestone layer with stone bricks just for placeholder, because placing quartz pillars is a pain. So, place three quartz pillars on top, just like so, on top of these placeholder blocks. Then once you have that done, delete the placeholder blocks. Then let me count up actually how much I will have to stack this up. As well, I figured I might as well just go ahead and place this quartz pillar now, since the third stage is so tiny uh, in relation to what we've done previously. I figured I might as well just go ahead and uh, do this all in one go instead of making the cylinder and then painting it individually. All right, for the next part of the third stage, what we're going to do is just place uh, eight white walls, just going all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. And that will finish off the main section of the fuselage. I lied as well, we're still going to paint in the uh, lettering afterwards, but uh, for the stripes and all that, we can do that uh, right now to save us some time. Once you have that uh, finished off here, what we're going to do is 
Well, I suppose I should probably wait until I'm finished doing this before, uh, that's funny what we're doing next. There we go. So once we have that stacked upwards, what we're going to be doing next is taking quartz pillars and lining the next two blocks with quartz pillars up just like this. And that will be that. Now for the last bit, what we're going to do is place a row of permissions are broken, I swear. A row of uh, black wool all the way around like this, then uh, white wool here and here, then on the other side here and here, just like so. Again, uh, just like this in case that was a bit too fast for you. Then on the front faces of each of those walls, we'll place a stone button going around like this, and then fill in this top layer with black wool like so. Now let's grab birch slabs, finish off this uh, liquid hydrogen fuel tank. Um, how did this go? Let's see. It was... Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so from right here, where we have this um, uh, bottom half, or this bottom layer of black wool, we place a lining of uh, birch uh, bottom half slabs. You know what? I'm probably going to mess this up no matter what I do. Let me just double check to make sure. Indeed, I was correct for once. That's a surprising, actually. Okay, so once we have this outer lining of birch slabs, or birch bottom half slabs here, uh, fill in these four corners like so. Then what we'll do is place a crosshatch pattern across the middle with uh, birch slabs like this, and then a stone button right in the middle. And that will finish off your, uh, or the visible top part at least, of the, vis of the, um, the uh, liquid hydrogen fuel tank. Let me throw away my birch slabs now and stone buttons because we won't be needing those again. Now, lastly, uh, for final details, the lettering and the uh, um, raceways. Let's do the lettering first. We'll grab our red wool from the top here on these diagonals. Skip a block, red wool, skip a block, red wool, skip a block, red wool. Same thing again. Again. And again, and this says just U, S, and A, because every stage needs American stuff for no reason at all. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, throwing away the red wool. We won't need that again, uh, except on the lander, but oh well. So now let's grab our jungle fence and nether brick fence. This is actually the uh, raceways for this stage are a bit more complicated, so I'm going to uh, pop uh, away from the camera and... Uh, finish off some reference photos for myself, if that's all right. Okay, so for the raceways, to finish off the third stage here, facing this uh, head-on from the front here, uh, we're just going to need our uh, wall stairs and fences for this last bit. Uh, on this uh, right bit of the three blocks here, place a wall there, stair, and then a fence on top. Now, that'll basically do it for that edge. Next or corner I mean, not edge. Next on this corner here, place two fences there, and two fences there. Uh, excuse me, that's the wrong corner. Okay, so one fence here, two fences here, then a full block, and a fence below and above it. Then, lastly here, uh, this corner has nothing on it, uh, it's empty, there's no raceways there. And so to, then to finish off the raceways here, place two fences there and two fences there. And that should just about do it. Again, I'm sorry if that was a bit confusing for you. So again, here we have, from this on the front here, we have this right corner with this detailing. This corner has nothing. This corner has these four fences. And this corner has that uh, raceway construction. And that should just about do it for your third stage. So, uh, yeah, next will be the uh, lander, I suppose. And that basically does it for the bulk of the, bulk of the rocket. The um, only thing we have next is all of the fairings in the, the um, uh, crew modules, and we're good to go. So, big, uh, 
give, give yourself a big pat on the back or whatever if you're into that stuff, I guess, because y you did it cool. And with that, I will move on to the uh, lunar module. All right, so for the uh, lunar module here, I have a reference behind me here because it has a lot of detail that I probably won't be able to remember, just like everything else. But um, so for the lunar module here, I have uh, left behind the top bit of the third stage here because, uh, again, you will need to break one small thing, and that is this button in order to have the lunar module in the uh, um, in the assembled rocket. So uh, in its place, we'll go a top half uh, nether brick slab. And let me just get rid of all of this quickly here because I don't need it anymore. There we go. So you have your top half uh, nether brick half slab here. I'm going to be building the descent module first, or the descent stage first. And then I'm going to show how to extend the legs and then I'm going to show how to build the uh, the ascent stage. <laughs> Got a bit mixed up there, sorry. But yeah, so first will be the uh, descent stage with the legs retracted. So we've got this nether brick slab here and then a hopper there. And that will be for your uh, engine. And surround this with uh, birch, uh, birch slabs like so. Then make a 3x3 uh, three three box with yellow terracotta, too high. I'm intentionally leaving out this uh, top left block as well because we'll place a red wool there. Then cap this off with a birch slab. That will be the entirety of your uh, descent module, or your descent stage. I keep wanting to say module. This will be the entirety of your descent stage apart from the legs, which is just three birch fences going down with a birch slab underneath. Three, bir three birch fences going down, birch slab underneath. Three birch fences going down, birch slab underneath. Three birch fences going down, and a birch slab underneath. And that will do it for your uh, uh, descent stage with the legs retracted. Now for the legs extended. Uh, let me get rid of all of this because I don't need that anymore either. Uh, let me get out all of this. And my replace stick. Now, for the legs to be extended, you will need a bit of world edit trickery, unfortunately. But, uh, yes, so, ooh, and I'll need this again. So, to make the legs extended, what you're going to do is push out that uh, foot pad one block, uh, knock out those, place those two blocks out so you have something like this, lever facing up into that. Now, a kind of trick a, um, a fence into being too wide like this, grab it on a replace, and then smack that right there. So will this update? No, it won't. Thank you, 1.13. So now once you have that uh, fence uh, extended like that, I don't know how else to put it, then take a uh, repeater. That's not a repeater, that's a lever. Take your lever, flick it down, Grab it on to replace again. Th uh, throw a block down there, and and I got rid of my fancy fence. There we go. So you know, I'm just gonna make a setup for this. So uh, grab your lever there. That will be. Why are you not wanting to be nice? There we go. Thank you for being nice. So, uh, basically repeat that somewhat messy process all around as well, an end rod connecting right out there. So that will finish off the support structure for the extended legs. So now let's repeat this process all around basically. We'll do this on this side now since we kind of have this system set up. Again, knock these out. Uh, end rod coming out there, lever facing upwards, uh, block there. Grab the lever on a replace, facing downwards, and uh, I guess that will extend on its own. I don't even know how that happened, but uh, <laughs> anyways, um, again, knock these out, and rod there, two um, fences going up, 
Love her out. Get a new setup. Setup. And here we go. Well, that is nice. It does the fence for you. Okay. Um. And lastly, your for your uh, backlight here, and draw a lever, and then lever, and flick that down, and that will do it for your uh, descent stage with the legs extended. Sorry that was uh, <laughs> kind of messy, but uh, well, whatever needs to happen to make it work, well, that it can be pretty messy sometimes, unfortunately. But yeah, so now you have these beautiful legs extended. Let's make the ascent stage. Now I'm going to be building the uh, ascent stage above here because it has separate details for the um, for the engine. So if you're building the ascent stage separately, you'll start off with a hopper like so. If you're building this onto the descent stage, you'll simply grab a yellow terracotta. Uh, replace this slab with a yellow terracotta and start from there as if that was the hopper. But instead, that will I'll be leaving that as a half slab and continuing on from this hopper. So, uh, again, if you haven't noticed already, the hopper is the uh, ascent engine. Throw this all away, grab out uh, cobblestone supplies, iron trapdoor buttons, a how did mine fix it in the intro? He fixed it somehow. It was a, uh, a jungle trapdoor. All right. Jungle trapdoor. So, uh, let me just fix it on my reference as well so I don't forget. All right, so building out from the ascent engine here, on all four sides, place cobblestone top slabs place a general trapdoor facing down, and as discussed before, iron trapdoor, or whatever works really in this pack, it's, an, it's a general trapdoor. Next, as well, you'll need andesite. This is just to mix it up. You can randomize it however you like, but I like, uh, I'll just basically follow what I have on this model, I believe. I'll need a lever as well, nearly forgot about that. So. Uh, where to start? Let's see. Place a place cobblestone full blocks on each of these corners, like so. Then uh, buttons on each of these corners from here, like that. We can throw away the button now. I don't think we'll be needing it, needing it again. Uh, three andesite, like so, right here. A and a right side up cobblestone stair and then an upside down cobblestone stair there. This will actually be an andesite there because that's how the modeling works. It really doesn't matter how you randomize this, but that's just how I've done it here, so that's how I'm going to be building it. Then an andesite on top, like so. Then andesite here. Let me double check the uh, modeling for the back as well. Okay, cool. So this will be andesite as well. I'm just going to fix that because I want everything to be perfect in an unnatural way. <laughs> so you've got your andesite there. Uh, andesite to the right, was it? I've forgotten already. Yes, okay. And then andesite up there, cobblestone full block. And then andesite up there. That will kind of finish off this little boxy shape. Next for detailing, I'll make a plus of cobblestone half slabs. Place a uh, an iron trapdoor right there, flick that upwards. And as well, before I forget, place a cobblestone stair here and then a cobblestone stair facing upwards on the corner right there. Uh, so you have the upside down here and then a right side up on top of it. So it should look like this. Next, replace this uh, slab with a stair, like so. Then another stair coming off of it like that. And I threw away my birch top slab. There we go. Place a birch top slab right there. Then an iron trap door underneath, like that. And then two levers on the faces of those stairs, like so. And I believe that is it for the ascent stage. 
Indeed it is. So that just about does it for your lander. And again, this is what it will look like when you have it all built in the same thing. I'm just showing this so that you can have them separated if you would like. And yeah, let's continue on to the uh, fairings next. All right, so moving on to the fairings. Uh, unlike previous uh, sections, I'm actually going to be building this on top of the uh, lunar module because I, uh, well, there's a lot of detail on the lunar module here, and unfortunately most of it you're going to need to knock out in order to have the lunar module properly situated inside the fairings, just because Minecraft blocks are so thick. But um, anyways, so I have here replaced the... Um, uh, this is the top of the third stage again, and so let's start off right here, shall we? So I'm going to be building one quarter first, and then I'm going to show you how to mirror it around. I may or may not build it, all of it on camera, we'll see. But anyways, so on the left block of this right uh, uh, set of three here, so like this being your front, and then on your right side you've got this set of three on the left block of this place, three wool blocks going up, purple slab on top, or whatever slab you're using, and then two blocks going up, like so, and then a half slab on top. Fill in this gap in the center and place a jungle fence with a one block, or place your white fence or whatever, uh, one block gap away from the bottom of the fairing there. Next, bring this row, one, two, three, four, and five up. Then we'll do the same thing as we did right here, one, two, three, and a slab on top. Next, let me see. Next, we'll be bringing this bit behind here. Um, how should I go about this? One. Here's the first bit you're going to have to knock out, that button there. Two, three, four, and five, I believe. And then filling this in, one, knock that button out. Two, three, four, and five. I believe it's five. Let me double check. Nope, four and a half. Knock out these two top blocks and place uh, half slabs right there instead. Next, place a block coming out there behind it like so, and then one more up, and then a half slab on top, block behind, and up. Then fill in this gap behind here, and that will basically be the start of your uh, quarter. Let's actually fill in this bit here. Again, this is another part that you'll need to knock out that iron trapdoor sticking out there. Two blocks in there, and that will finish off this quarter of the fairing. Uh, might as well build the rest on camera just so you can see what you have to knock out to replace these. So we're continuing along, one, two, three, uh, half slab there. You can, you can mirror these around if you want and skip ahead. I'll just uh, continue building this around, one, two, three, half slab, one, two, three, half slab, one, two, three, four, five, and then half slab in the center there. One, two, three, half slab, one, two, three, four, five, half slab, one, two, three, half slab. One, two, three, half slab. One, two, three, four, five, half slab there. Then, bring up the center bit. How far does this go up? Ah, uh, yes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five there. Then fill in these. Uh, you'll have to knock out these buttons again. So this goes all the way up here. And then, yeah, so right up until it lines up there. So one, two, three, four, and then a half slab on top. Again, over here, one, two, three, four, half slab on top. One, two, three, four, half slab on top. One, two, three, four, half slab on top. That's another thing you'll have to knock out, by the way, as well. One, two, three, four, half slab on top. Then, You'll have to knock out that lever as well. Two, three, four, and then a half slab up. You'll have to knock out that stair as well, and that iron trap door. One, two, three, four, and a half slab there. One, two, three, four, half slab there. 
one, two, three, four up in the corners. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two blocks in each to cap these off. So that's how you do it. Uh, if you're building the, uh, oh, nearly forgot as well, the jungle fences. Uh, again, uh, one block gap from the bottom in each of the centers of each side, just like that. So that just about does it for the fairings. Now, if you're, uh, again, this is only if you're building it on the uh, assembled rocket. If you're building these, if you're building it at all separate, you'd build each quarter separate, just like this, and just build around each of the, uh, each of the uh, uh, fairing quarters, like I showed in the first one. But uh, yeah, so that leaves you with the uh, top of the fairing there. Next uh, will be the CSM and then the LES, and that will be just about it for the uh, Apollo Saturn V. All right, so moving on to the service module. Uh, now this engine again requires a bit of world edit trickery. I'll show you a different engine uh, later. Again, this is the top of the fairing section all assembled here, just to show you where this will go in relation to everything. So for the, uh, let me grab the uh, stone slab here. Uh, again, this will use the set smooth stone. So that will use the smooth stone just like we did down at the bottom with the uh, stabilizer uh, rims. I don't know how else you'd say that. I mean, they were the rims. Uh, just how we did it with these here. Again, if you don't have a uh, world edit and can't get smooth stone, uh, normal stone, or uh, double stone half slabs or anything else will do really. So, now let me get rid of this for a second. So now to finish off this engine, again, this goes one block below the, uh, um, no, this goes directly in line with the uh, uh, fairing edge. Sorry about that. So this is the top of the fairing here, and that one block will go directly in there, if that's where you're building it. So let me knock out all of this now. Now, lastly, for finishing off this engine, let's throw a hopper underneath it here and do some more world edit trickery for uh, this, for getting these coral uh, vertical slabs all in place. What I do it as I move everything like so. And that will leave you with this. Again, if you don't have world edit, you can use iron trap doors or uh, as well. This is the design we used before before. Uh, how did it go again? It was a it's just it was an anvil where that would be so it's been a while since I've built this. Well not like that, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so a uh, nether brick slab where that would line up there. Hopper above and an anvil right there. And that's kind of the pr previous engine that we use, but again, it's really, really tiny for the CSM. The, CF the CSM engine is actually pretty huge, so that's why we're using this instead. Let me get rid of that now. So now, from here, I'm not going to care too much about copying. I don't know why I have this here still. Let me get rid of this quickly. Sorry about that. Okay, so with that out of the way, I'm not going to care too much about uh, the cobblestone andesite modeling like I did with the LEM for, or with the LM for uh, dumb reasons. Again, uh, it really doesn't matter how you model it. It's just a model between cobblestone and andesite. So moving on, uh, to continue the CSM, you'll place a uh, ring of cobblestone here. I'm just going to basically model these as I go. It really doesn't matter how you do it. Again, I can't say that enough. It's just randomization for added detail. Even if I did make a horrible case for that when I was building the LM. Anyways, so make a ring of uh, cobblestone here. Now bring this up. Let me see. 
four more. So we need to set up a total of four more. So you have a five tall cylinder in all. One, two, three, four. And that should do it because that's five down at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now that you have that, actually, yeah, let me pull up a reference <laughs> again. Let me just copy that down just so I can have a reference for seeing how this goes together. Apologies for that. Um, but anyway, so yes, we have this five tall cylinder here. Actually, what we're going to do is if you're building the CSM separately, or not the CSM, if you're building the service module here separately, you have the service module here and then the command module, which is the capsule that fits into the top of the service module. Ignore the fact that all the fences are completely broken. I'm too lazy to fix it. So if you're building the uh, service module separately, what we're actually going to do is take cobblestone stairs around like so. So you have this. Now knock out these bottom front uh, um, uh, cobble andesite slash whatever blocks. Replace those with three, leaving the back one uh, cobblestone like so. Now what we're going to do is run uh, fences up the side. Oh, thank you. So we've got the cobblestone wall here. Basically, let me explain this better. What we're going to do is run cobblestone walls all the way up the corners like this. And then we're going to fix it to be nice. So uh, I'll fix these to be angled later. Um, but now we'll replace this uh, cobblestone wall and this cobblestone wall with your white uh, fences. Just like that. Again, if you're using this pack, that would be jungle fences. So let me set up a world edit replace station for fancy stuff. So cobblestone walls around here. If you if you don't have world edit, it will be just fine. If you don't if you can't make these connect, doesn't really hinder the look of it too much. But if you do have world edit, I highly recommend doing this. So make a setup kind of like this at the top, where you've got an extra row of blocks and an extra row of cobblestone walls. Grab your replace tool and throw each of these down just like that. Wow, well that it finally worked for me for once today. Anyways, that should give you something that looks just like this. Now lastly, let's grab a uh, cobblestone block, throw that down right there, and then a jungle trapdoor right on top to give it a bit more detail. That will be the top of the uh, crew module. Now if you're building the uh, CSM uh, in its entirety instead of the module separately, what it might actually do since this is so tiny, ooh as well, uh, before I forget, levers here, 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 and here. And that will finish off your service module. Now what I might as well do is show you how to build the command module separately and then show you how to turn this into the full CSM with the command module attached since, it's the, since the command module is just so small. So what we're going to be doing for that is, let me throw these away here. Uh, this is literally all you need, you'll need for it. Let me go up a ways here. So you'll get a uh, nether brick slab. This is, a, again, by the way, building the command module separated from the service module. Nether brick slab separate here. That will be part of the heat shield. Then take cobblestone slabs out in a way like this. Actually, your nether brick slab should be a uh, bottom half slab. Like so. so if you have it lined up next to a block, it should be on the bottom half of that block. Sorry I didn't make that clear, and sorry I messed that up on my own part. Anyways, your cobblestone uh, top slabs then around like so. Finish this off by placing four cobblestone stairs around, and then a cobblestone top slab to finish it off like that. Now, so now you have your uh, service module and your command module uh, separate like this. Now I'll show you how to build the uh, uh, command module attached to the service module. I'll just move this up a bit to give myself some room. So for the uh, 
adding the command module and you'll just get rid of that because you don't really need it. Replace these with your blots or whatever. Again, the modeling doesn't matter. And I need to replace these because this is bad. There we go. Okay, so this would be your service module then, just as it was without all of the fancy detailing for it being separate. Now to add on the command module now, what we're going to do is place four cobblestone stairs here, 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 and here, and then a slab to cover it off in the middle, just like that. And it's as simple as that. That is your uh, command service module finished. So, uh, yeah, that is just about it for that. Now all that's left is the uh, launch escape system. And, uh, yeah, so actually, what I might as well do is I'll just build that now. So, let me get rid of this. So, you have your command module here. You know what? Excuse my unprofessionalness. I'm just going to move this off here over to the... Uh, um, uh, prototype of the uh, assembled prototype, excuse me. Uh, and now I have to jump cut to fix the fairings. Great. So that didn't go according to plan, but what else has? Anyways, another important thing I feel like I should note at this time is that if you're building this in the uh, in the fairing or attached to the fairing in the assembled rocket, you won't be able to have these uh, um, uh, vertical stone slabs with the coral here. You'll have to get rid of those. So. That's a, that's a detail you'll only be able to have if it's separate out in the world. Anyways, so now that you have your command service module on your assembled rocket here, let's build a launch escape system for it. So, uh, you'll need buttons for this. Let me just throw all of this away quickly. And grab end rods. Alrighty. So to add the launch escape system, onto this, and again, you can just start anywhere if you're building this uh, separately from everything. Replace these uh, stairs here with wool, then place uh, purple slabs, or your know, wool slabs, or wh white slabs, or whatever you're using, uh, on top of that, like so. Then, one, two, uh, actually, I need to get rid of that center block. One, two, and three blocks going up from that. Stone buttons surrounding that. Uh, right in here is where your engines would be on the launch escape system. Now, now to finish off the launch escape system, place four of your white fences going up and an end rod on top. And that is it. You have now completed the Apollo Saturn V. So this was by no means an easy tutorial, so thank you so much, and congratulations. Now, I would like to mention as well that we spent a lot of time working on this rocket, so please, please, please do give credit to the Aero team for designing this rocket initially. Hello, Mind. Mind is Hello. someone else who worked on this as well. So Yeah, us too. We basically do all the rockets, and Taxi will help out. <laughs> so That's basically we're the... We're the rocket team. I mean, rocket team. Aero team's expanding. We we've got car team, traino team, rocket team, and <laughs> aero team. Oh, and, and city team. Yay! We just need boat builders now. Zap's against Bodo boats team. though. Yeah, Zap's against Bodo team though because he's like it's too hard. Well, that's because Zap is bad. <laughs> Zap will deny us doing anything until he realizes how good it is <laughs> no no rockets no rockets for the aero team hey make more <laughs> <laughs> if this actually does well he will do that he'll be like make more rockets please <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah that is just about it for the apollo saturn 5 and uh yeah, thank you very much for stumbling through this tutorial and uh yeah. And uh, he, you're supposed to uh, say that normal shazaz. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and button. That way, down below. <laughs> Breaking news: YouTuber forgets to say please like and loses millions of subscribers. <laughs> you know, that could happen one day. <laughs> Wait, how is 
did you see what Blue said in chat? I did not. Dude. Like, that's <laughs> kind of ironic. <laughs> Get your two months. Complete coincidence, <laughs> and it's absolutely perfect. Get your free two month trial with Steelshare. Thank you very much, Blue Flying <laughs> Wizard. Oh, that's good. Anyways. Anyway. So, thank thanks. you very much, and we'll see you in the next one. That'll be in like two months. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.